Da -da 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 -da. Once again, we're guys, man, your country song teacher. Welcome to another He Played What Wednesday. If you're new to my channel, each Wednesday, I do kind of a non-country song that's on my mind or whatever. This one, I'm going to switch it up a little bit and do three songs that if you play this instrument, you got to learn. They're kind of party favorites. Everybody will recognize them. And if you, like I said, a lot of times people ask me, Matt, how should I practice? If you practice these songs, if you learn these three songs, you're going to be pretty good at guitar. People will be like, man, that, that guy, that guy can play or whatever. Kind of... Last is Mary Jane. You gotta learn that one. You gotta learn. Sweet home Alabama. We gotta learn that one. And last but not least, hey, what was the last one? I kind of forgot it. Free fall. Gotcha. If you want a really, really in-depth lesson, <coughs> excuse me, I'm still getting over my COVID cold. My, if you're new to my channel, whatever, I've been having this call forever. I've been sick. My COVID test keeps me back negative, but I know I've had it. I lost my sense of smell and all the stuff I got it the first two times. Uh, I've got other symptoms as well. But anyway, I'm, I'm getting better every day, so continue to pray for me, guys. I appreciate you all reached out and said you're praying for me and all that encouragement. So thank you so much for that. So I'm going to put in the description the link to three of these video, all three of these songs in particular, if you want a real detailed lesson for each one of them. But this is kind of going to be a big overview. So let's start Last Dance Mary Jane. You want to learn this little part, but start out with an A minor, which is second, fourth, and third, and that little hammer on. So again, you're going to play the two middle strings without your fingers on it, and then put them down. It's called a hammer on. And this drum, so it's. So then. This drum, then go to the G, lock them two bottom strings, fifth and sixth. So all you're gonna do is a, hammer on that A minor. G, D, D, D. And then, <coughs> and then back to hammer on the A minor again. So again, it's really cool to learn. So that's back and forth for the whole time with the verses. A minor, G, D, A minor. And then for the chorus, E minor. Again, I just, I usually, you know, instead of the locking the two bottom strings, on this song in particular, I'll just do the fifth and fourth string. Last dance, Mary Jane. One more time to kill pain. Then just move your top two fingers down to the two middle strings. I feel so much Tired of this town again. So that little hammer on is so key when you do a little riff, people will know the song. The next one, this is one of the first songs I used to teach people when I would teach lessons in person, Sweet Home Alabama. This is going to be good because it's going to work on a few chords, but more important than that, it's going to work on kind of control in the pick and finger picking. That intro, <coughs> the intro is what you've got to learn. It's a regular D chord, third and bottom string and second. You can pick four, four, and then come up on two, three. So four, four, two, three. Remember, I said the fourth string, the bottom's one, two, three, four, five, six. So four, four, two, three. From your D chord, take your middle finger to the fifth string, second fret, and go five, five. Again, two, three, two, three. So four, four, two, three, five, five, two, three. So when I do that too, I also take my first finger off that third string, come up. And then go to G, regular G. Six, six, down. So hammer on that fifth string. So you play the fifth string, then press it, then go to the fourth string. See how I'm doing that? You play it one time, it makes two sounds of the hammer on. So. Then play the fourth open, and then fifth closed. So it's full speed, it goes. 
make sense? Hammer on, hammer on, open, close, and then this third string. You're gonna play the third string, second fret, pluck it, and then it's called a pull off. Then let's repeat it. That part again. This time you're gonna go second fret, fourth fret, seventh fret. Again, plucking the third string the whole time. Second, so second fret, fourth fret, and hold on the seventh. Then the chords are D D D C C C G G G G G G D D D C C. So, so that's the second song you gotta learn. The third one. Good old song. I've done a few lessons, several several lessons on this one. Free falling, good little jam there. You're going to mess around with the D, A, and G chords. So start with the regular D, third, bottom, second. And strum it. Then put your pinky finger, squeeze it in there at the third fret bottom string. Then on, off. And then for A chord, you're going to keep your ring finger on that second string and then press the two middle strings. So that's what you're going to start doing. D, D6-4, D6-4, off, A, that's the whole time. So forth. So that's a good little gem there. And then for the chorus, now I'm free. There's three songs. Let me know which one of these you struggle with the most, which one you enjoy playing with most in the comment section below. I read all the comments, even if I'm slow these days because my three little bears getting back to them. But fun little song, kind of. You know, another one I should have added in there. Losing my religion. That's a good old jam too. All right, guys. All these songs are going to be in a new song book I'm working on called Party Favorites. If you're new to my channel, I always make these song books. <coughs> and I hope they've been a blessing. I've had a lot of good feedback. I've got four chord song books where every song in the book just uses four chords, G, C, E, minor, D. I've got a sandbar country song book, worship song books, all kinds of fun stuff. So go, so go to countrysongteacher.com, right on here, countrysongteacher.com, and check out those books. Uh, strumming DVDs, all kinds of fun stuff. And always, when you see my videos, please hit that thumbs up. When I say smash the like button, I'm talking about that little thumbs up button. That helps that YouTube algorithm promote the channel. It helps me do a living, make a living uh, doing YouTube. So y'all been a super blessing to me. All right, guys, subscribe if you haven't. Hit up Country Song Teacher. Until next time, I love you. More importantly, God loves you. Keep praying for me. Holla.